think about the domain, you want to think about what are the possible x values, like what can x be? So when you think domain, think x. When you think range, think y. What can the y values be? So for this one, when I do the domain, what I usually do is I take a vertical line, kind of like this uh, marker I have here. And what I do is I scan from left to right because, you know, the X controls the horizontal or the left and right direction. So I scan across and I see, like, what can X be? So when I'm over here, can X be negative? No. See how there's not any points on the graph? Can X be zero? No. Can it be one? No. Can it be two? No. Can it be three? Yes. Or to the right of three. Now when you go to the right of three, that's greater than three. And so what we have here is x is greater than or equal to three. So that's the domain, okay? Now, another way to write this if you're learning about uh, interval notation is you could write it like this, three to positive infinity. But probably at this stage you're working with the inequality uh, notation, but I'll show you both. Okay, now the next thing is to look at the range, the y values. So when I look at the y values, I take a horizontal line, like my marker right here, and I scan from low to high, because remember the y controls the vertical direction up and down. So when I think of the range, I'm thinking of what can y be? Now, can y be negative five down here? Well, you can see this graph gradually keeps going down, down, down. So it looks like, you know, it can, there's points on the graph down here, there's points on the graph over here, there's points when y is zero, there's points when y is one, there's points when y is two, when I get above two, see how there's not any points on the graph? So the range is going to be y has to be less than or equal to two. Now you can see this is a solid point here. If this was open, then it would just be y is less than but not equal to two, but it's solid, it includes two and below. So when you think about going down, that's less than, up, that's greater than, or when you're thinking about the domain left and right, the x values, left is less than and right is greater than. Okay, so that's example number one. Example number two, see if you can figure this one out. So the domain, D, okay, I'm just writing D for domain. What can X be? So what I do is, again, I take a vertical line, okay, and I scan left and right because I'm looking at what the X values can be. And the reason I take a vertical line is because I want to see where that crosses the graph. So you can see it's not crossing the graph here. It's not crossing the graph here. Only until I get to X is negative two or to the left of that, so when I go to the left of that, I'm thinking less than. So here the domain is x is less than or equal to negative two, negative two or less. Now if you want to do the interval notation, this would be from negative infinity all the way up to negative two, including negative two. But probably at this stage, you're just working with the inequality uh, notation. If you want to see more about the interval notation, I have a video on that. You can check that out on, on my channel, Mars Math Tutoring. But Let's take a look at the range now. So the range, those are the y values. Again, I take a horizontal line and I scan from low to high because remember the y is controlling the, you know, the vertical direction, that's the range. So when I scan, you can see down here, this graph keeps going down, down, down. But when I get up to this point here, there's not any points up here, right? So it looks like the y values are from one or below. So that means the range is y is less than or equal to one. Okay, last example. See if you can figure this one out. The domain, those are the x values. What can x be? Can x be negative? No. Can x be zero? No. Can x be one? Yes. Can it be to the right of one? Yes, right? Because there's points on the graph at when x is one or greater. So that's x is greater than or equal to one. And when we do the range, the y values, we take our horizontal line, we scan from low to high. Can y be down here? Sure, there's a point on the graph. This keeps going down, 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 right? Can y be here at zero? Sure, can it be one, two? And it keeps going up, up, up. So here you can see the range, the y values, can actually go from all the way from negative infinity to positive infinity. And we would just say that it's all real numbers. Okay, like that. You can abbreviate or you can use this fancy symbol here for all real numbers. Or if you're using the interval notation, you could say from negative infinity to infinity. So I hope that helps you to understand how to work with uh, domain and range given a graph. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other uh, math tutoring videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.